Hi everybody, it's Kaylin. Welcome to my review of The Sims 4 Backyard Stuff. Now, I must disclose really fast that I was given this game for review by EA, so I have had it early. I've had a chance to play with it a little bit more than normal. I don't do reviews more recently because I've been just, it's hard to do a review after playing the game for like 20 minutes like most people do, but I was given this game early, so I've had a chance to kind of play with it for a few days now, and let me tell you, it is such a good stuff pack. I, EA has been killing it lately. Like, the kids room stuff in this one are so good. I just... Oh, so excited, but please don't think that I'm biased or anything here. I just, I have no need to lie to you. I would never lie to you. There's just, it's, it's useless for me. So I'm being completely honest here. I love this stuff pack so much. Like, first of all, picket fences. Picket fences. Oh my God, I love picket fences so much. Okay, compose yourself, Kayla. Let's do this thing. Let's review this game, right? Okay, okay, hey, let's jump into it. Uh, so we're gonna do like the build items first. I'll show you guys what comes in the pack. Actually, we'll hop into build mode. Let me give myself some more money because I'm not gonna have enough money for this. Uh, well, let's do like some kachings here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> legacy cheats. Whoops. <laughs> this is a legacy, by the way. And I'm just, oh, well. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and kind of filter. Oops, control shift C, get the cheat panel. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is already off to a bad start. We're going to go ahead and filter the items by packs. Come down here to backyard stuff. And we have all these new things. They're so cool. Okay. First of all, the colors and the swatches and these things are so good. Like we've had this, the Sims is like on a kick with their, their packs yet lately. Like the items in these things are so cool. I think first of all, let's, let's talk about the tables first. Cause these are really cool. Now these tables we've always had like four seater circle tables these are six seater circle tables so what first of all we need this because we just I, it's fun to have more sims sitting outside right now we have these six seaters that have so they can fit six sims around them if we just plop these chairs around oh come on let's see look at the look at those chairs and the texture of this umbrella see how it's kind of see-through like, isn't that the coolest thing ever? Like, you, it's it's sheer. That's amazing. Just, I love the graphics in The Sims 4 so much. And I just, it's super cool things. We have two sets of it, like two different swatches. One that's more solid with some patterns and one that's a little bit sheer. Um, sheerer, is that a word? I don't know, but it's got some pretty options. These patterns are super cool. Like, look at the colors on these. I love these floral textures and the stripies are fun. And the, the like, what a fun pack. Honestly, I like bright colors like this and it's just, it's fun to have in your game. Uh, so we have these new thingies here. These new table thingies. Okay, Kayla. New tables. We also have these regular tables. Uh, some new sets of chairs, too, that come in the same matching patterns. Uh, so you can kind of see these. Here we have these, like, for comparison. Uh, they're, like, very obviously outdoor chairs, which are kind of fun. Although, I think you could use these more, like, these fancier ones inside if you wanted to. These ones remind me of outdoor seating. Like, they're kind of like fold chairs, folding chairs. Uh, but these other ones you could use inside if you wanted to. And just look at the colors. The wood colors are a little bit off, I think. I would like to have some more, like, ones that fit the rest of our wood colors. But it's okay. These, ooh, blue ones are kind of fun I didn't see those okay well look at these the patterns all match and just really cool things in here with the tables um big fan of those we have more side tables too so you can kind of see this one uh similar to the one that came with what's it called uh that movie hangout packs so we have like the the cloth over it but really fun again the wood colors are a little bit off but that's okay you know what you win some you lose some right and we have this okay first of all this thing I love this thing I don't know why I don't know what it is but I just I love the idea of ladders with things on them like it's just it's such a fun idea and there's bright colors too like really fun we have a white so it's more natural looking we have some good wood colors and then some like yellows and pinks and like what who knew you needed this until now? I didn't know I needed this, but apparently I did, and it's amazing. And then we have, obviously, the water slides, which I'll show you guys these, like, the gameplay in a second, but I'll place them down just so we can kind of remember to talk about those. Uh, we have all of our various wind chimes here. There are six of them, three that hang on the wall and three that are, like, hanging from the ceiling. I'll show you those in a second, too. Uh, we have the new bird feeder and the new, like, drink tray. Those are all gameplay more based. We'll talk about those in a second, too. Let's look at the items first. We have this potted gumdrop thing. I don't know what this is exactly, but I kind of love it. Like, the colors, we have some fun ones and some normal ones with cool pots and like just this is a I, we need more plants you know I use plants a lot in my builds and just it's a good idea to have more plants now we have some fun plants like this thing with all these flowers in it like look how pretty and springy it looks it looks like an easter egg doesn't it it kind of does I love that okay I'm a fan I'm a fan and we have some pretty pa <gasps> Ooh, I love that color on the pot on this one oh and the, okay a plus a plus this isn't a first impressions but I'm acting like it is <laughs> I've seen all these things before okay okay let's stop now this thing too, okay, you guys, I love this so much. I do a lot of things where I combine, like I put plants close together to make it look like this, but we don't have many like cute flower potted plants. This is adorable. And so we have all these bright colors, super fun for your houses. I just, eh, I love it. I place it actually over here. Uh, my Huntley house has it placed like right here on the little porch. Like look how cute that is. Oh, don't you love, oh, and we also have this new thing too. I'll talk about it right now. This is a like super cool spinny flower thingy. We have so many swatches and like I just, I love everything about this. 
isn't it so cute and fun? And then, oh, I, oh, darn, I, I did done goof, didn't I? Okay, back to the items. We have to go back in the menu. Oh, no. Okay, we'll go back to backyard stuff. Back here, uh, we also have, let's see, this, okay, this new painting is really cool, too. Let's get on an empty, we don't have any empty walls. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Okay, <laughs> this is an empty wall, sort of. We'll place it, like, hanging off the wall here. Uh, you can see this painting is super adorable. So we have these, like, cool bird textures, and we have some floral ones, too. Just really pretty. I like the, the fact that the frames are stay the same the whole time, and then you have different patterns on the inside, because I feel like you can fit a black frame anywhere, but oftentimes when you have, like, some other paintings in the game, we'll have, like, a brown frame and a green frame, but we don't need those. We need, like, black, simple frames, and these are really pretty paintings, and it's pretty cheap, too. It's only, what, 250 simoleons, which is off like oftentimes paintings in the game are really expensive, but this is a pretty painting for a decent price. Your sims can actually use it without cheats, which is good. Uh, we always need more things like that. We have also some cool like rugs and wall stickers, like little kitty rug. Oh, this is a wall sticker. There's a there's a rug of this and a wall sticker of these, both of these things. We can find the rugs really like see we have the rugs and the wall stickers of them like, matching. Isn't that fun? I and we like these flowers are so cute. It reminds me of some things we had in The Sims 3, like some floral type rugs and some froggy type rugs which is cool. We also, okay, this object too. I love this thing. Like, I don't know why I like these things so much, but I love like little floral decorations with the candle and the pretty colors. The swatches on this are so good. Like, look at these swatches. It's amazing. Like, we needed this so bad. I didn't even know it, but like, this is amazing and I'm going to use it so much. So thank you for that, EA. Also, this new lantern is adorable. I can't get enough of it. Like, what the heck? And the colors are good again. Okay. I'm just really how much this stuff is good, but it's it's good, good stuff, good stuff, A+. Plus. And I would just, I would buy this pack just for the items. Like, I don't even need the gameplay. We also have this, like, thing of lemons. To, oh, it, I didn't click it. Some lemons. We've got a uh, super cool, like, picnic-y basket thingy. Uh, we have a new rug, which I used in my house right here. If you turn around, look at this rug. Freaking amazing! I know! Okay, the colors and the patterns are good as the flowers. We have the same thing again. Also, some cool stripey thingies. Just really pretty colors. It fits. We have like some basic ones like this too, and then some more bright ones like these. Uh, so you, it fits in any house. It's a good size too, because like we don't have many like this size rug. We have some ones that are too big and too small for spaces like this. But this one's perfect size and just, it looks, and polka dots like ladybug rug, right? Ladybug rug. Hashtag ladybug rug. Start it in the comments. <laughs> it's so much fun. I just, Oh, I love this house so much. And this, these things, I just, it's a good thing. Also, this cool, like, candle. This thing is one of those things that gets rid of bugs, like, in real life. And we have it in The Sims now. And it's really cute looking. And we have some pretty colors, too. Uh, just, I, oh, I like this pack a lot, you guys. <laughs> I feel so ridiculous just, like, ranting about how good it is. But, all, like, all the items are awesome. We have this cool birdhouse thing. We've got this cool, like, little... This one doesn't spin. Uh, like, this one actually spins. This flower one, if we play the game. Uh, you see how it spins? This one doesn't, this bird one does, or bird, it's a butterfly. This this flower one spins, the butterfly one doesn't, but they're still cute. Uh, just, like, really fun little things in the game. I have to go back into the catalog now. Oh, I done goofed again. Okay, we have to go back, fill some red packs again to backyard stuff. But you see, all these things are really fun. Just bright colors, good options. A lot of, like, variety here. You can do whatever you want with the stuff. Um, and I like that a lot. So it doesn't all have to be outside. Like, this rug could go anywhere, you know? Uh, same thing with some other stuff in the game. Oh, we also have these light thingies. We'll show you in Evelyn's room. Uh, let's put the lights on, please. Turn on, turn on, turn on. Yes, all lights. Who's calling me? I don't have time for this. Okay, so we have in here, these lights are new too. Uh, these super cute like hanging flower lights, which I love. They fit a lot, like a lot well. Yes, a lot well in her room. But just, see her room is like very, it's got all the packs, like all the kids room stuff is in it. But like it fits well with the other stuff we have in the game. So I like that a lot. Um, and I guess that's it for the build mode items. Let's go ahead and jump with the gameplay though, because it's really fun. Uh, so let's watch Evelyn try and do some like super cool sliding. So they can first of all fall. Like she, I think she just fell with this one, which is ridiculous. Like look at her, she's like flattened on the floor. And they actually get up. Like I feel like the programming for their interactions here is really cool. Like she actually is going to stand up and like, see she, she fell, so she's gonna have a hard time standing up now. Look, isn't that so cool? And she's like wa like limping for a second and then she just runs back off to try it again. But it's really cool. And we're going to have, come on, Claire, you do it too. Let's try this one. Uh, we're going to have, you can add soap to them too, which is kind of cool. Let's have her add soap to this and try it again. And adults can play with them too. It's not just for kids. Um, oh, look, see, look how cool that is. And there's so many tricks they can do. It's really fun. I'm not going to show you them all because it's not really fair. I don't want to spoil your gameplay. Uh, but there's a lot of cool things they can do and it's really fun for them. Um, let's add some soap though. I want to see what this looks like. All right, so she looks like she's adding soap to it now. Come on, Clara, be mischievous. Let's do this thing. Okay, so she added the soap. Now can we slide, please? Let's do a trick slide right now. Here we go. Let's see it. Oh, the bubble. Look at the bubbles forming. See, look how cool it is. The graphics on this are A+. Plus. I'm a big fan. <laughs> oh, let's, I, I'm nervous now. Like, what if she falls? I bet you she'll fall. How much do you want to bet she'll fall? Ten bucks? Okay. <laughs> so let's see this. 
Look how fun that is. And they do all these, oh, she's covered in bubbles now. That's amazing. I haven't tried this one before. I hadn't seen this until just now, so that's really cool. I <laughs> look at her just walking with the bubbles. Pictures, pictures, so many pictures. Okay, hold on. I love these sims so much. I love this pack so much. And just, it's so much fun. Okay, we're gonna let them keep playing with these bubbles uh, and just keep sliding around. So you've seen the pack kind of with the, the slides, which is, I think, the main feature of this pack. But now we're gonna go ahead and try the bird feeder. So you guys can see, for, I already fill it with seeds. So we already have some birds sitting here. Uh, let's have Sam come watch them actually. So Sam, don't ha you don't have to pee. You have to watch the birds. It's very important. So we sit here, you can see the birds will come and actually eat them. You can't like interact with the birds at all because uh, this isn't pets, it's just a stuff pack. But the birds come here and actually eat off the bird feeder, which is so cool. And they fly and they're like really cutesy. It reminds me of the pigeons from get together and just, I just think it adorable. You can just sit here and watch the birds for a while. And the bird seed actually goes down and then you can fill it back up when it's empty which is really fun. Um, I don't know if she gets a move from this. I don't know if she does, actually. Uh, I don't think so. That's okay. Uh, so, oh, d d d oh no. Go to work, please. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Who's calling me? I don't have time for this, Evelyn. Oh, I don't really want to do that right now. First of all, what kind of a kid has a birthday party at gym? Sorry, Karina, I'm, no. Um, so <laughs> there's that, and I think, let's do the lemonade now. So, oh, the wind, oh, I have two wind chimes placed. I didn't know that. So let's, can we sit up here and like watch these things really fast? I haven't actually seen them so much. I'm gonna be quiet and try and listen to these, okay? It didn't play. Oh, oh, must I turn these on? Change, you can change the pitch to be like a high pitch, and then see how it changes the actual size of them? Low pitch. Oh, did I hear something? I don't hear anything. I can't tell if it's going, well, we have working wind chimes that are super cool. Um, I'll try and put in like some clips of them actually playing. I can't get the audio right now because I'm talking over it, but we'll do that in a second. Uh, and then the lemonade is the next cool thing that we can do. So this is actually right here, the lemonade tree, which you can actually change the color of a lot. Oh, I didn't show you guys the wind chimes or anything. I'll do that in a second. So we have the lemonade tree, which you can change the colors of. We've got like some blue, some pretty, just fun, like lemonade-y type, bright, fun colors with a flower on the tray. Let's do, actually like the yellow one better. I had it first for a reason. Let's come fill it. Oh, not you. Sam, <laughs> so you can mix a drink. You can do citrus swig, iced tea, or lemonade. They're kind of expensive, the drinks are, but you know, whatever, you win some, you lose some. So let's go ahead and I think let's do some, I have done, I haven't done iced tea yet. Let's do the iced tea right now because I did the lemonade earlier for my, my own gameplay. You guys haven't seen it, but we'll do the iced tea. Uh, so we're gonna come mix a drink here. Come, let's please go. So she mixes the actual drink like for realsies and then she places it and then she pours them. Sort of like the drink tray that, drink tray that came with spa day and then she can actually drink the drinks. Come on, drag, grab one, please. So you get six of them, and then she can grab a drink, and they drink their iced tea, which is so much fun. Like, I just, I love that. Like, what a, it's just, it's a lame but kind of cool addition to the game, because I feel like before you couldn't do that, oh, she's still got bubbles all over her. <laughs> How long does it last? Three hours? Really? All right, well, sounds of the wind from the wind chime, which I guess they can hear, I can't, but, whoa, wow, look at her, look at those mad skills, okay? So we're just gonna drink the lemonade, it's, it's a fun idea. Like, all the stuff in this pack is really fun, just a cute addition to your game, because it is summertime, and I wanna play with fun little outdoorsy things. I don't go outside in real life, so at least my Sims can, right? And then, at uh, the wind chimes, we have, like, the six options, and so we'll look at the colors really fast. We have the two that I have hanging up, so like one on the wall over here and one actually hanging up from the ceiling. Uh, a weird thing that I've noticed is that you can actually, like, if I don't have, like, okay, first of all, bb.move objects off, uh, I think you can actually just drag these and place them, like, hanging up nowhere. Like, oh, never mind, you can't. Okay, well, before I was about to cheat on. I lied to you. They has been a ceiling, which is good. Oh, what is what is happening here? I don't know. Let's look at the colors. <laughs> just We have these bright colors here for this version. Uh, just some simple ones. Very subtle. I like the, I like the orange a lot one. Um, I like the orange a lot one. Uh, so we have the Wind Chimes of Windermere aluminum hanging, ceramic hanging, and then bamboo hanging. And then we have the same options again, but for the, the walls. So it's just the same thing. I think the colors are all the same for all of them, but I'm not too sure about that. Uh, but you can see the difference. These ones are bamboo. Those ones are the aluminum ones. I don't know if they make sound differences. I haven't had a chance to play with them out too much, but they maybe do. I would assume they do. Uh, but the same colors, I think, for all of them, a little bit at least. They're a little bit different, but maybe it's just the lighting. So there's that with the wind chimes, and I think that's it for the pack. Let's just double check really fast, because uh, I don't want to miss anything. That'd be bad. So we're going to go ahead and filter packs, go back to scroll all the way to the backyard stuff. I think that's everything we got. Oh, we didn't look at swatches for these things. We'll do that really fast. So you have lots of swatches for these things, uh, like some bright, fun colors. I love the shark one a lot. It's more expensive because this one is what, like how many simoleons? 
Um, it is 1,176 simoleons. This one is only 540, but I mean, it is a lot lamer. You know, it's just flat. This one's got a shark, you know? So there's that, but this one has a lot of color options too with the frogs and like the whale. Just look how cute that is. I love it so much. All right, let's go ahead and jump into Creative Sim though and kind of see the outfits and the new things that came in the pack that way. Uh, Evelyn, will you, <laughs> you and your bubbles, we're going to Creative Sim though. And that was, it. that was Claire, not Evelyn. I done goofed my own Sim names. Whoops, okay, you, you didn't know that, but I did. Ew, oh well. Uh, follow me on Tumblr though, listen to tumblr.com. I, I play this current household on there, and I post screenshots and stuff. So anyway, this is what we're working with here. We have Clara in her swimsuit. There is no new swimsuits for kids, which is kind of sad, but yeah, it's okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and make a new outfit for her, and then kind of, I already dressed her up in one, no I didn't, never mind. <laughs> I lied. So the style looks first. We'll do. So you have this new one, which is really, like, I love this so much. Like, look how adorable, like, just with the, the shirt is adorable and the colors are good. Uh, this, just this new shirt is, just, just this new shirt is new. Yes. Well, the shirt is new in this outfit. I like this one a lot with the orange and the pink and the front colors. Uh, but we have these new things. We also have this outfit too, which is new, uh, with the tank top and the shorts and it tucks into the shorts and it's really cute. Uh, more fun colors, like with a fox. Some cool, like the new kids items have recently had like a lot of animal thingies. Like what is, is that a pizza? I love that. Like I didn't know I love that until just now and I decided that I needed that thing in my life. Okay, let's filter by the new pack. We'll do packs, come on, Swirly Mickey. Packs, backyard stuff. We have four niches for kids, uh, for boys and girls. There are only four. We have this one shirt with the patterns, like the button up shirt before. We have this new cool jersey type shirt. Fun colors, all kinds of cool stuff. The tank top that tucks into their shorts. And then we have this other tank top, which is a little bit more, the same tank top, just different color coaches with like some ombre things and some fun colors, more solid colors. I don't think there's any new pants. We can just check really fast though. I don't, I don't think there is, uh, but we'll see. Just maybe I was wrong. Oh, none for feminine, but is there any for boys? No, okay. And there's no new shoes or anything, but there are new hairstyles and these are so cool. Okay, so they did some like really cool ombre like dip dye kind of things with the hairstyles this time where they have like a basic option and then a colorful option. Like first of all, this is the hair, basic. Okay, like simple, you know, just like cute little shortcut. Okay, normal EA colors. Same with this one, just normal EA colors. Super cool, like Matilda kind of style. And then you come to this thing where you have the cool dip dye stuff. Look at ama how amazing that is. Like colors are fun. It just like kids haven't had dyed hair in the Sims 4 yet and this is really cool to have uh the style i'm not a fan of this hair too much for girls i don't think i'll use it very often just because i don't really have my sims have short hair just in general uh but i do like the idea of this i think it kind of shows like in the future more colorful things will be coming and just i love this a lot uh the just the, like the pink and the i just i love that a lot okay i do i really do <laughs> we're gonna put our hair back to whatever oh i forgot what it was didn't i i'll do it off camera so then we come to the adults though and the adults have a lot more stuff uh first we'll do the adult hair so you come in here, we will do, okay, so we have these these five hairs, four really, but one has more colors. We'll come to this one first. This one I was a little bit like iffy on at first, and then I really started to grow on me. Like I just, I kind of love how it's just kind of messy and simple. It looks like my hair in real life, to be honest, a little bit more voluminous than my hair in real life, but it's similar length and stuff. And I like that a lot. It's just more realistic hairs lately. We also have some more ethnic hairs, uh, that, like this one. We don't have many hairs like this, and it's, I mean, not really on, it doesn't look good on Sam, but like in general, like this, we just need more hairs like this. We also have some more colors. I don't really understand the colors of this hair. Like, I think there's some sort of ombre from the, like, the top is darker, but I can't really tell. Oh, it is. Okay, never mind. Yeah, the top is darker, but we also have the basic option where it's all the same, which is cool to have that, like, switchy. You can kind of, this one looks more realistic to me. This one does, uh, which is good. We also have, like, some fun colors on it, like some of these whites and pinks and stuff, which is just really cool. I uh, also have this hair, uh, which is just, I like this one a lot. Uh, I think we need more, like, shorter curly hair. So we don't have many things like this. Now we do. And then there's this hair, which is insane. Okay, so the ombres, it's so cool. Like, look at this. Okay, so we have the regular black with the blue on the bottom. Crazy. We have this one. We've got this one. We've got this one. This one. Look at how cool. I love that color on the bottom. Like, I just, I want a hair that's that color just in The Sims in general. But not yet. Okay. And then we got this orange one. And we got this. Look at this. Look at this. I like this one a lot, too. The blonde is really pretty. Um... This hair, with this is kind of a lot. I've got like some thousand and one Dalmatians vibes from me at this, but you know, whatever. Crawl Deville, just go away, please. And this one with the blue, like how cool is that? I, I don't know, I'm a big fan. And then we got just some like regular colors, more pinks. Look at this, look at this purple. Isn't that amazing? Oh, I feel like crying, okay. And we have the pinks and stuff, just more blues. Mermaid hair, am I right or am I right? Yes, yes. Uh, this one's kind of a lot, but you know, highlighter hair, 
for life, right? And then we just, it's so much fun, you guys. I love these new hairs a lot. Like, honestly, I can't even explain how much I love them. Uh, so we have, look how cool that is. I just, I'm a big fan. Uh, and then we do the, like, girls' outfits. So you will come in here and you will find these new four new shirts. This one, which actually tucks into their pants and could be a swimsuit if you wanted it to. Look, you see at the back is like a swimsuit. You can see her underwear, but that's okay. You can change the colors to be like black or something. But look at the cool how back it look cool how back is. Yes, Yoda. Look how cool the back is. We have these cool colors. I just I like this a lot. Um, it's a good tank top and a good swimsuit. I used it in my hundred challenge swimsuit, and it's really pretty. Like, we don't have many, like, basic one pieces. They're all kind of a lot. And this is just a nice option. Well, we do have one basic one piece, but we don't have, it's, it's different, okay? And the back is really cool, and I like it a lot. I just, I can't talk about clothes. I'm not a fashion expert. But we have these cool colors. I like this a lot, a lot. It's, okay, Kayla, say it again. Say it one more time. I dare you. Let's put our pants, okay, styled looks, though. Styled looks. You come here, you find this one first, which is, like, the same button-up shirt the kids have, but for adults. Uh, and the new skinny jeans. Now, we don't have any, like, real skinny jeans in The Sims 4 yet. We just have, like, some regular jean jeans that are, like, you know, more bootleggy and just they're not as skinny. Like, these are jeggings, right? They're so good. We I don't need CC ones anymore because we have these. They're perfect. And they actually tuck into boots. If we go and show some boots really fast. Uh, let me grab some boots. Like, these boots tuck into them. Oh, there's some cropping. Okay, that's an issue. Well, these boots tuck into them. Okay, okay, yes. These boots, they tuck into them all the boots they tuck into, which is amazing. And we've needed this for so long and we finally have it. So back to style looks, we come here, we have this color option. Uh, the shoes are new, the shirt is new and the pants are new. Uh, we come here, just look how fun that color is. I love the bright colors, I like the shoes a lot too. Like wedges are just kind of fun in real life. And then in the Sims, they're really adorable and the texture is fun. Uh, we have some more fun colors on these. It's just a cool option. Uh, and then we have this outfit too. This romper made my entire life when I saw it. I think I screamed when I saw it for the first time, honestly. Like the colors are so adorable. And look at the, the polka dots and like, oh, I think I might cry. Like, look, I have so many options here. Like the colors are good. We have like so many swatches too in real life. If you come here and look at all them, look how many swatches there are. So many swatches. It's amazing. Fantastic. Absolutely. Look at the yellow. I love the yellow. I, th I think I'm in like a yellow kick right now. I love yellow things right now. Okay, well, yellow is great too. And then just like the patterns, we have like some more colors and then we have like some po or polka dot ones are up here. I uh, like this stripy one is kind of fun. I just, I like fun things like this. We don't have much of it in The Sims 4 lately. So this is really cool to have in the game. Are there any more style looks that I missed? I don't think, yeah. So that's it for the style looks. We come back to these shirts for females. Um, we have that obviously. We also have this shirt, which is a very subtle like deer print on the front. You see this like the the neck, the, the v-neck has like a deer thing. I can't even words, but subtle and really cute. I like the like crossy texture. I just think it's kind of fun. Really original for the game. We haven't seen anything like this yet, uh, but I just, I like the colors a lot too on this. It's really fun. I'm going to use these things for sure. Um, and I just, I like it a lot. You guys, I'm a big, big fan. Yellow again. I love yellow. And this thing, this like tie shirt, we don't have anything like this and I love it. Like, look how fun that is. It looks like a real shirt in real life. You would wear, I would wear this in real life. Maybe not. It's a little bit too cropped for me. I'm too conservative. I would never, but my Sims can wear it. They're cool. Cooler than me, at least. And the ombres are really cool. I just, they've done a really good job this time. Honestly, like, I'm just, I'm, I sound like an EA, like, promo person. But honestly, I love this pack so much. I would definitely recommend it to you. Like, on hands down, my favorite pack so far. And I'm not just saying that because they gave it to me. Like, I do love this pack a lot. I would buy it. I, like, I would buy five of these just to have, like, if I, you know? Yeah. Okay. I, do, I love this pack a lot, okay, <laughs> just, and the colors, like, like, it's just, it's so much fun, okay, I don't think there are any new pants, okay, so there are new pants, we have these new shorts, which we really needed more, like, shorty, not, like, because there are some really, really short shorts in the game, these are just fun shorts, we have some colors, obviously some more, like, denim -y type, well, not really any denim, but there's, like, just some good color here, like, the belt is really fun, and just, I love this a lot, and then we have these shorts too, uh, which are more for boys, but they obviously, because the update, you can wear them for any any gender. I like these a lot too, just because I, we need more dogs. I like this a lot too, because we need more like gender neutral, kind of just longer shorts, and these fit b oh, both genders, although there's some like weird clipping. Um, that's okay. And just, it, it looks nice. The jeans, again, are beautiful. Look at the colors on these. Look at the colors on these. We have some jean colors. We have some more, like, bright colors. The texture's really fun. I like how the knees, like, actually look like real knees in real life. Like, it's just, it's really cool. More yellow. Yellow is always good, obviously. I do, and this, all oh, this is a good color. This is a good color. <laughs> I don't think there are any accessories or anything. There definitely is no accessories. Uh, we kind of filter back here by backyard stuff. No, okay. 
So that's the female outfits. And then for males, I think the only new thing would be those pants. Oh, oh, no, oh never, I lied. I, I'm a dirty liar. Okay, so we have these two shirts. This one, which is kind of fun. Uh, we have just like a more basic kind of like tee kind of thing going on here. We have a nice polo shirt. Uh, so I don't know I don't know much about male fashion, honestly. I, I would call this a polo shirt, right? With a cool texture on the side. This cool like denim shirt with an undershirt. I like shirts like this a lot. I think it's realistic for like things people would wear in real life. I like that a lot too. Uh, good options for the colors here. We need more bright things for males. And yellow, look at the yellow. Oh, I do love a good yellow. Okay. And then we have this tank top again with just some fun options. We need more tank tops in The Sims 4. Um, hashtag need more tank tops. And this is a good option for us. And look at the more yellow. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. And then we have those shorts again. Uh, so there are these just fun colors, more yellow. Obviously, those are not good yellows together. 10 out of 10 would not recommend, but these blues together are okay. You know, maybe it's a little bit much, but whatever. I, mean, I think there are no male shoes. No. Okay, well, that's it, I think, for creating some items. I hope I didn't miss anything. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Let's, can we like filter by, I think the kid stuff is all gender neutral anyway, but just in case we didn't miss anything there. Nothing there. Are there any outfits that I miss? Or did I miss anything for females? I don't want to miss anything. It's very important to me that I don't miss anything. I don't want to be that person that misses something. Come on, packs, filter, by backyard stuff. No, just the romper. Okay. But this is a nice romper, honestly. I'm such a big fan. Oh, and the shoes. Okay, let's, let's talk about the colors for the shoes really fast, too. That's kind of important, I guess. We have some nice yellows. Um, we have just pretty colors all around. Uh, very basic, really cute wedges. I need things like this in my game. Uh, I have, like, some CC wedges, but now we have, like, actual EA wedges, which are cool. Uh, no need for the CC anymore. I like this one a lot. The white and the black are really good. Is that, like, a blue? Oh, it looks like white to me. We have white, too. Oh, see? Never mind. Problem solved. Everything's good. I like these shoes a lot. Oh. Good pack. So honestly, final opinion, I love this pack so much. Even though they sent it to me, I still would buy it. It's a really, really cool thing. The colors are great. The items are great. It's a fun addition to your game. Um, honestly, though, if you don't play with your like family stuff very much, this is a very family-oriented pack a little bit because of all the stuff that like your Sims can do as a group. If you don't do that very much, it's probably not worth it for you, but it's only $10. Oh, the picket! I didn't show you the picket fences! <gasps> the most important thing. Okay. We're ending this on the picket fences because honestly, I have wanted picket fences in The Sims 4 for so long. And this pack finally added picket fences. And I love picket fences. And The Sims 4 used to use them all the time. Now we have them in The Sims 4 and they're so good. I had them in the backyard. You probably saw them. Uh, but they are great. The colors are great. The just, it's a, I love picket fences. I can't even form a word about it, form a sentence about it because it j I, just, I just love picket fences. <sighs> I need to calm down. <laughs> I watched the trailer for this and I saw the picket fences pop up and I flipped out i tweeted pick offenses in all caps like six times um in the same sentence not in the same like not different tweets that'd be ridiculous the pick offenses are right here they probably saw them earlier and we're like kayla why didn't show us these things but look how good the picket fences are we have a single gate no double gate just single gate but look how cute these are the texture is amazing the colors are great let's let's look at these things man we gotta get a good view of these the picket fences right here 25 each is actually a pretty cheap fence honestly um like one of the cheap they're the cheapest they're the same as the cheapest fence we need cheap fences. I sincerely appreciate this. Some fences are kind of expensive, like these down here. Look how expensive these are. These are only 25. A plus. Okay, so we have these picket fences. Really good colors. We can kind of see how they change the whole thing. Nice brown colors. I'm probably going to use the white the most because I just like white picket fences in my houses. Uh, but we also have like this one and the black is good and like some blues maybe. Look at that. Oh, that's so fun. I just picket fences oh my goodness okay uh the gate has the same color options obviously as the fences we have the same gate see that'd be if you didn't have the same ones it'd be kind of ridiculous but i just i just love picket fences okay i can't even form real words about it because i just love picket fences now i would buy this pack just for these picket fences not even kidding i have always wanted picket fences and now we finally have them oh my goodness okay calm <laughs> so that is the end of my review you guys i'm a little bit all over the place i feel like that's kind of okay though because like, what do you expect from me at this point, right? I'm always like this. Uh, but make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody.